Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to dispatch events in Objective-C. So if you're like me, you came from a language like ActionScript where everything's based, or nearly everything's based on events. Uh, it's kind of hard when you're learning a new language if those languages don't have events. So in ActionScript, you'd have your classes and they do something like a URL request and they get the data back and then you have to get that data back to your UI so you dispatch an event after the URL request is done and you dispatch that event with all the data well in languages like Objective-C you don't really have that event architecture so this is the how we can do events and pass data uh, this is originally from this guy's site. He's from ActionScript 2, and I'm just showing you how to do it in a video. So I already have my display wired up. When we click this button, we'll have a custom class take some text and dispatch an event, and we'll change this text here. So first thing we want to do is create a new class this is where you'll really use events is out of classes and we'll use objective C class base it on NS object and we'll just call this event class alright so now in our header file let's have one property and non-atomic retain and this will be a NS string. And we'll just call this my string. And we need a void method. And we'll just call this um, request event. And then let's have one more. And we'll call this a uh, dispatch event. Okay, so now that we have those in our .h files, let's head to our .m and implement this. So first thing we need to do is synthesize that uh, my string, and in our init here, let's assign a value to our my string. Next, oh, Jesus. Okay, my string equals. Right. So that's the data that we want to get back. So let's add both of our methods in here. Um, we have our dispatch event, and then we need our request event. Alright. So. In this request event, all we're going to do is just call the dispatch event. Like if you had a simple, simple class here with methods, you could just re return the data. But if you're doing something like a NS your uh, NS connection URL connection, that's kind of asynchronous where it calls other methods in that class. You can't return it really. You'd have to do like a callback or something. But since we want events, that's what we're used to. Um, this is how we do it. So once we have that, we need to call NS Notification Center, then call the Default Center, and then it's Post Notification, and the first one is our event name, so we'll just call this event type, the type of event or name of the event, an object is nil. Okay, so that's all we have to do to dispatch an event. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's head back into our event test controller.m. I'll provide all this code um, on my site for you guys. And first thing we need to do, let's uncomment this uh, views init function here. Alright, and we need a class wide variable. Um, let's say private 
and this will be our event variable so event class oh, I guess I can't do this I need to put it in our view controller I'll just do property Right, and it's event. Oh, we need to import. All right, so now once we have our event class imported, this will be a lot easier. Event class, and we'll just call this my event. Okay, now that we have that, let's go back into our dot m and synthesize this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so in our init, before we do anything else, we need to instantiate our my event. So um, event class alloc, and then init. Okay, so now that we have that um, on our button click here, we need to. Um, Actually, in our init, we need to start listening for an event. So we need to call NS Notification Center again, then Default Center. And then we want Add Observer. And then our Add Observer is Self. Our Selector is at, at Selector. And we'll call this Event Listener. and then you need the colon after that and then our name which is our event type again and then object nil like last time so this will listen for an event of type of event type and then it'll call this method so let's make this method here and um, it returns void And it takes a one parameter of NS notification. We just say note for short. And this is our event listener. In this event listener, we want my label dot text to equal to um, our my event. And then um, what do we call that? my stream okay my event then my stream okay so whenever this event listeners fired then we'll populate our label with the my stream okay so on this click event let's go ahead and call our my event class and say request event all right so it's going to request event. It's going to listen for that event with this listener function right here. And then populate that label. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. Alright, the text says regular, let's dispatch, and the text changes to special from dispatching the event in our um, custom class here and then listening to it in our view controller here so that's how you do it if you have any more questions just ask